Hello everybody, it's rat getting day. We're leaving to go to Petoskey. First we're going to Meyer to buy the things we can't buy at Walmart, food wise. And then we're going to go to Tropic Cove and get two new male rats as young as possible because they are friendlier that way. And a placos placosmist for Don if they have any left. And they don't, I don't know how much they're charging, but we'll find out. Hello in there. Hello out there. And Don's gonna drive, and we have to take the, have to turn at the golf course road and go up through downtown because right now they have the 31 all ripped up by the lake there, past Bayview, so nobody can go through there. So we're in Meyer and we found the cauliflower tater tots and there's other things on sale and we got some sushi and some meat and cheese and some bread so far. And my cold is acting up more today so that's a whole lot of fun. We're all done in there and this is strawberry iced coffee from Big B Coffee. I decided to do that instead of Starbucks even though there is one in this town. And it's all in the trunk so it stays cool because we didn't bring a cooler or an ice pack or anything. But we found all kinds of good things in there that they don't have at Walmart, including a bunch of different kinds of quinoa, all the Meyer brand cauliflower tater tots, uh, their sushi that they make here. So there's more to, oh, and a box of eggs, a big box of eggs like the one I get from Walmart for $6 and some cents for $2.49. I almost didn't get it because it said $2.49 and I thought, no, that can't be right. And then I went through self-check and rang it up and wow, it really is that price. So I wish they'd build the one in Sheboygan so it wouldn't be so hard to come here. If they're going to sell a whole big box of eggs for like half the price Walmart sells them for. But now we're on our way down to Tra Tropic Cove after he has his cigarette.
here are the new rats. They're not brothers this time. The black one is a tiny bit older than the tan one, but we haven't figured out names yet, but we will. And Don got uh, his Placosmus. They can't see it. Turn it sideways. There. Hard, hard to see because of the yeah, bag. Yeah, because of the bag. But anyway, they ch uh, the tan rat was 20 bucks, and the black and white one was 7 because the black and white one's a feeder rat, but it really makes no difference. They charge a whole, they charge double now. More than double, because the Rex rats, which is what I had before, were 25 bucks. But at least they take good care of them and they live. Welcome to Burger King. My name's Angie. What can I make for you today? Hi Angie. Can I get a grilled chicken sandwich with no mayo? It comes with honey mustard. Uh, you go ahead and leave that on there. Uh, go, that go ahead and leave that on there. Leave that on there? Yeah. yeah. Alright. And a uh, 20 piece nugget. What kind of sauce? Sweet and sour. Okay. That'll be it. Alright, 845. Second window, please. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. Alright, we're home now. These guys can check out their new home. Let go. There you go. We'll leave them alone and let them explore for a while. Because that was a, a big long car ride for them. But their hammock is up here and hopefully they will discover it. They will be named by the end of this vlog, but I'm not sure yet what to name them. And of course, they're both boys. And he's a Rex. And he's just a normal rat. And he's pretty smart. He's figuring out the ladder already. Ladders. Well, I was going to let him explore for a while. This is my buddy. He bought this one here for me. What, the $20 one? Yep. <laughs> Ice cream. You want to call him ice cream? Yep. Okay. I call him ice cream. Fine. His name is ice cream then. <laughs> what do you want to name the other one? Ice cream. Really? That's all right though. It's too late now. That's uh, his name. Ice you know, cream. You know you call him Cool Whip. No. His name is ice cream. And what's his name? I'll let you name these. I named the last two. Um, I have to think about that one. All right. How are you want to paint an ice cream on this one because how light colored it is? He is, yeah. Ice cream. <laughs> you would call that one vagina. No. Are you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> All right, ice cream and vagina. No. <laughs> yep, that's their name, ice cream and vagina. No, no, no. Did you give them treats yet? No, go ahead and try to give them each a yogurt drop. See if they like it or if they're too excited. Yeah, the yogurt drops, not those donut things. Ethan and Malcolm like the yogurt drops a lot better. Yeah, but they still would eat the yeah. pretzel things. He might be too excited right now to think about food. You can just leave him in there for him. Maybe they never got got him at the pet shop. Maybe they don't know what they are, but they'll yeah, figure it out. I was, yeah, I was just gonna say that they might not have never gotten stuff like that. Yeah, but anyway, they're all set. No, they're not. They're not shit. Well, what are you gonna do? Put them in their hammock? <laughs> he just jumped right back out. That's why I said let them discover it themselves. I'm hoping them to discover it. <laughs> oh, I know what <laughs> we can name him. They just jumped right back out. I know what we can name him. What? Big balls. No. 
No dirty names. Vagina and big balls. No. No. Sounds good to me. <laughs> and no, they're not for you. You can burn this box now. We don't need hey, that anymore. Some chocolate chips? No. That's why you need to burn that box. <laughs> So here's the big box of eggs, five dozen, that we got for two forty nine dollars from Meyer, when they cl cost close to seven bucks for the same thing at Walmart, so we were shocked. Eggs, you want eggs? And then we got wheat bread. And so there was some spaghetti sauce on sale. A couple of those. We were only able to find one of these that we can't find anywhere else, so that's fine. Tartar sauce. Cereal was on sale. It's only like two something a box, when usually they're close to four bucks. That's why I wish Sheboygan would build their Meyer. Okay. And then here is one kind of sushi, which I'm going to put in the freezer. California roll. They make it right there. And another one. I only bought two because they're pretty expensive. Uh, Philadelphia roll. They had all kinds there. But it cost a lot. And then these quinoa things. There's two of each. Two of these. It says simply add water heat and serve and this kind and this kind quit and then they had cheese and sandwich meat turkey on sale all right and I bought four of these. They were only two something. I should have bought all six that they had in the freezer, but that's all right. They make their own brand. And Walmart doesn't want to handle them anymore, so. And they cost more at Walmart. So this will be good. 125 for six of them. And they had a sale on this stuff. I don't know what I'm going to think about the hot and spicy, but that's all they had. And one of these. That way I can still have burgers. Because I'm not going to eat greasy hamburger or greasy breakfast sausage. I have chicken thighs in the oven, and we're going to try this one first. It says... Bring one and a half cups of water to boil, stir in the package, and then simmer it for 14 to 18 minutes. So it sounds pretty easy. And Don went to Dollar General to buy vegetables, frozen vegetables, because we forgot all about that when we were at Meyer. So we'll have broccoli or cauliflower or whatever he brings home with this. And when we got home, I had to take some more Dayquil because my cold is worse now. But. It's a weird cold. Better, worse, better, worse, better, worse. No fun. And Don's Playco is right there. So he's made himself at home already. And these guys are not acknowledging him. They're not supposed to. They're not supposed to notice the these things. So that's good. They're broccoli, baked chicken with paprika, and uh, garlic and onion and salt and pepper. And that sesame ginger quinoa. So we'll find out if we like it or not. So we'll, we really like that quinoa. I did anyway. What about you? Oh, it's pretty good. Okay. And Don finally came to a decision on what to name the other rat. He's going to name him Mocha. So it's ice cream and mocha. Ice cream mocha. Mocha ice cream. Yeah. I named the last two rats, so I left it up to you this time. Yeah, but you gotta name the new baby fish, though. I'm not sure what to call that. Call it... I don't know. Sven Gulli. <laughs> I'm only saying that because that crap's on TV right now. Yeah. <laughs> but... Yeah. They, they was kind of, the one guy was kind of pushed a little bit to try and get us to spend a bunch of money on a fish. You know, yeah, they had Playcos in there that were as much as $70. Yeah. It's like, no! Yep. So 
like, no. I don't want to spend that kind of money on fish. And, and, and it might die. Yeah, and have it die like a week or later or something. It's like, no. Yeah, so we got one that was $3.99. Yeah, just a little one. Yeah. You know, about, what, about like that. Yeah. I showed it to him. Oh, yep. While you were out buying vegetables. Yeah, well, I went to Dollar General. The only thing they had was this corn for a 10 ounce bag was $1.90. Yeah. And it's, well, they didn't have no other vegetables in there. They even had some uh, other uh, teeter tots sitting where some of the veggies go. <laughs> well, that means a customer did that. I don't know, it was filled all the way from the front to back. Oh, well, I don't know that. Two then. rows of it. The frozen stuff it gets delivered by vendors. So what the vendors do is what the vendors yeah. do. Well, that's why I didn't even bother asking me anything, you know, any of the workers that was there, if there was any more veggies, because I know there ain't no there's freezers no, in the back. No, there's so. no freezers or coolers in the back. That kind of thing comes from vendors. Yeah, I, I We don't store anything that. in the back. Yeah, I kind of figured that much just because common sense, you know. Yeah. So I just walked in, looked, and I was like, nope, turn around and walk right back out the door. Yeah. And went over to Common Market and they had one, one and a half pound bags of uh, broccoli for $1.88. And then they had some corn, 10 ounce bag for about 25 Yeah. And that was about all we had for that. Yeah, well, behind the camera, <laughs> you know, going in. <laughs> yeah, it's like, why are you talking about vegetables forever and ever? <laughs> I'm a vegetarian. Oh, yeah. Somebody needs to go and shoot all the deer. Tug! They're not eating all my food. Were you filmed today? I don't know. And Gizzard's on the couch, and I think you guys saw Smokey today. I know he was outside. Yeah. Was he? Yeah. Oh, well, he he'll come in. Yeah. So anyway, the day quill is working for now. I don't know if I want to take night quill because I work at 10.30 tomorrow and I have to get up at 8.30. And if the medicine hasn't worn off yet, I'll be groggy. So I don't think I will take any. But we're going to say good night and we hope you enjoyed the video and that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. Say good night. Oh, maybe I ought to just lean forward and lift my leg and just let one read. Okay. I can feel my guts gurgling. Well, then go to the bathroom. <laughs> Not that kind of gurgling. That legend that like I go and take crap gurgling is like I got to rip one like I did to you in Salvation Army that one day. Well, I guess the broccoli's already taking effect on you, isn't it? Yeah. Want <laughs> me to take on public university again like I did at no. Salvation Army? No. I, no, that was a good one. Yeah, what he's talking about is like three years ago we were in the Sheboygan Salvation Army and there was an old woman in the next aisle over and he was farting as loud as he possibly could over and over and over and I just walked away from him because that's really embarrassing. Hey, I'd be lucky that one that come out was loud and it was kind of long. I thought that I might kind of shard my pants. You're really gross. It was a good one though, but I didn't shard my pants. I was like, hey, did you hear that one? Quit it. So we'll see you next time. Sorry for all the fart talk.